Mrs. Sharon Nikazo, Minister of State, Federal Ministry of Environment, has advised stakeholders and government at all levels to ensure Nigerians have access to eco-friendly sanitary facilities. Ikazo, who gave the advice during the celebration of World Toilet Day in Abuja, said the facility would help address open defecation and other sanitation-related challenges. One of the major consequences of poor and frequent exposure is that the high rate of diarrhea disease, which is the second cause of high morbidity and mortality among our children under the age of five. A sanitation crisis, if allowed to continue, will undermine the overreaching ambition of the 2030 agenda to build a safe, more resilient society on a healthy planet. The federal government of Nigeria is committed to addressing the sanitation challenges, ending open defecation in the country, and ensuring proper management of excreta. This commitment is demonstrated by Mr. President's uh, declaration of state of emergency on water, sanitation, and hygiene in the country. I therefore challenge all the stakeholders here today, especially stakeholders on environment, particularly sanitation at national, state, and local government level, not only to do the talking, but take practical steps and actions individually, collectively, as agents of change to ensure everyone has access to eco-friendly sanitation facilities. I'd also like to appreciate the stakeholders in the environment sector, our development partners, private sector, NGOs, and the press for collaborating with our ministry in ensuring a clean and safe and healthy society. Country Director, Foundation for Sanitation Improvement, said his foundation has resolved to develop public toilets, establish women and youth cooperatives, and train them in community-led total sanitation techniques. World Toilet Day is significant in the life of the Foundation for Sanitation of Improvement. Our parent company, the Green World Matters Limited, is a company that seeks sustainable solutions to the problems caused by humans on the environment. The company has worked at various times with the Drought and Desertification Department of the Federal Ministry of Environment to provide an orchard in Buari and also provided the seedlings for the tree planting campaign flagged off in Duzi, Jigao State, as well as work on a draft for social mobilization for communities in the Great Wall Corridor. Mr. Damien Abonye. FCT President, Environmental Health Officers Association of Nigeria, spoke on the business viability of mobile toilets. The has been doing their best, especially in providing the enabling environment for private sector to thrive. But people should know that toilet business is also a very veritable business. And we have seen it that in today's society, when we gather to play, to pray, to work, to trade, that toilets are needed. And people can as well invest in providing these services at these critical centers. But you cannot invest in providing toilets individually for everybody in their homes. Therefore, everybody will take the decision of providing toilet in their home and then come together as we come together for security and form vigilante. We can also come together and build our community toilet.